Now we're going to do front brakes. Uh, these, these brakes are on a GS, but the, the method to do them, to change the pads, is the same between the Classic and the GS. Okay. Step it? No. Still wrong. So the first thing we're going to do is pull the pin out. And it's easiest to knock the pin out with the uh, caliper attached to the bike. Okay, so the pin's out now, and now got to loosen the bolts. Eight millimeters. Eight millimeter uh, Allen to loosen the caliper mounting bolts. Very easy. Oops. That's okay. No, uh, that's the old one. The old break. Okay, so now, now the uh, bolts are out, and we're going to pull the caliper loose and get the other pad out. Oh, the both pads are out. Okay, so, so now we've got to push the pistons back in. The, um, the brake pads that um, RTOM has taken out are actually only about half of their wear limit, but he, he doesn't like the, the feel of those pads, so he wants to change them. If you look at the groove in the brake pad, if you cannot see that groove, then your brake pads are definitely need to be replaced. You want to put the pad in that goes against the, the, the pistons first, and then put the other pad in. And then the pin is going to go in. Yeah. I'm just trying to compress it. Uh, we sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on the pin to clean it, and now putting just a light coat of grease on here, because the pads are going to uh, move on that pin, and the pin won't wear so much if it just has a little bit of grease. Okay. Okay, so now the pin slides in. And, and drives home, and then the clip goes in. If, if the hole's not showing, the pin, it's, pin's got to be knocked in further. But that little that could be done after the caliper's back on the bike, just don't forget. And at this point, he's uh, prying the, the pads. Now, just one drop of Loctite on the end of the bolt. Doesn't take much. Okay. And now, I'm going to torque the, uh, the bolts to the, the proper spec. Which is not much. Wait a second. In order to seat the pin, uh, he's going to take a drift and just knock it in with a hammer to seat it all the way. And just like the rear brakes, you knock it in until you can see the hole so that you can get the little clip back so in. The pin goes in and you want to make sure that the curved end of the pin faces the caliper. And that's all there is to changing the front brake pads other than maybe bleeding them. Right.